What's up guys, Chig Zep from Chig Step Movies. Today, I've got my hands on the brand new Miku K7 Hybrid. Now this is a brand new hybrid full Android TV box featuring a built-in multi-TV tuner, which includes DVB-T2, DVB-S2 and DVB-C. Now hybrid TV boxes are quite rare, so I do look forward to seeing how this one performs. But first of all, inside the box, you will find a user manual, HDMI cable, an external high gain Wi-Fi antenna, a power adapter, and the voltage is DC 12 watt 1A. You also get a full featured remote control and there are a lot of functions on this remote as this box is a hybrid TV box. So you have your EPG guide, your DTV settings, etc. Now these are powered by two AAA batteries and we will be testing this remote out very shortly. Last but not least, the TV box itself. So here it is, Mikul's latest hybrid box. Now this box is powered by the S905X2 quad-core CPU with the Mali G31, four gigs of DDR4 RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. You also have dual band Wi-Fi AC with a gigabit LAN, Bluetooth 4.1, full Android version 9 Pi, supports 4K HDR at 60 frames per second with HDR10. You've got HDMI version 2.1, and this supports 5.1 surround sound. Now the box itself is made completely from plastic. You've got a matte finish and the Miku logo on the top. At the front, you've got the K7. At the front, it says K7, and you've got an LED display. On the side, we have nothing. And on the back, we have our Wi-Fi antenna connection, which I am about to screw on. You've got multiple TV tuners included, so your DVB T2, C, and S2. You've got a CVBS left and right port. You've got an HDMI out, gigabit LAN, optical audio port, and a power socket. On the side, we have a micro SD card slot, standard USB 2, and a USB 3 port. And that brings us back to the front. And this is what the bottom of the box looks like. So now I'm gonna get this hooked up to my TV and capture card. We are gonna run our usual Android TV box tests. But not only that, we're also going to test out the DVB side of things too. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test and this TV box took 20 seconds to fully load the home screen from a cold start. So you have fixed shortcuts at the bottom, which cannot be changed and a row at the top, which you can customize with your favorite apps. So you simply hit the plus sign, select your favorite apps and they will immediately appear at the top. Now, if we head over to the main settings and check out system storage information, you will see that this box has 64 gigs of internal storage from which there is 57 gigs free to use. And if we have a quick look in about, you will see that we are running Android version 9 Pi. Now let's check out the system apps. Here are all the apps installed on this box as standard. I have not installed anything yet and you have quite a few apps to get you started including the full version of the Google Play Store which allows you to download any game or app you like. There does not appear to be any option for Miracast but we do have AirPin Pro installed which means AirPlay for Apple devices is supported and I did test it out with my iPhone 11 Pro Max and as you can see it's working absolutely fine with minimal lag and my phone has been successfully mirrored. So now I'm going to play some 4K video samples from a USB drive and I'm going to do this with the built-in TV Center app which is basically the same as Kodi but if you want the official version of Kodi then uninstall TV Center, go to the Play Store and install the official version of Kodi. So first of all I'm going to play a high bit rate 160 megabits per second jellyfish demo and as you can see it streams absolutely fine with no lag at all. Moving on now to the YouTube test and you can stream a maximum of 4K on YouTube. I'm Sonic, a little ball of super energy in an extremely handsome package. On my planet, people were always after my planet. <laughs> Betrayed. 
for one sole purpose, and you give your life to it. Hey, I just compromise every single one of them. Professor, from here on out, we're going to do things very, very differently. Oh, if any of you sell marijuana, please visit me during office hours. So that brings us to the Netflix test. This box supports Netflix at 480p max. And Amazon Prime Video is also supported at 480p max. Life. I'll go through all the tests, don't worry. Thank you. And we dropped the last of the antibiotics in the test kits in the village in case the water goes south again. So now it's time to check out the TV tuner and I have connected my standard antenna to the DVB-T2 port. Now open up the DTV app, select DVB-T2 and hit auto scan. Now all the free TV channels available in my local area will get detected and as I'm in the UK all the free view channels will be picked up which includes radio channels and some HD channels as well. The entire process took two to three minutes. But of course, I've sped it up for you to save you from utter boredom. So channel search is now complete and we have found 105 TV channels and 33 radio channels. So let's go ahead and view a few channels and see what it looks like. Well, for the remaining three pairs, it's now time for round two. Control. There's no question of it having the wrong box for the no. set. A large handle on one side. And in theory, if I do it well I shouldn't enough. shouldn't drag you into it. Oh, I don't care. He was out of line. I'm definitely feeling this 100%. I'm, I'm feeling... Thousand pounds for every player in the winning postcode. You never know. We could be... Known. It was April 5th, 1980-something. My sister's senior year was cruising right now. Numbers are also proving a problem for the bar and buffet. Even in terms of the lining, so they'll put lining in so they're easy to get on. But the... And here is a full seven-day EPG guide for all your channels, showing you what you can watch next. You can also set timers and record any program you like. Also, this has only a single recording tuner, so you can only record and watch one program at a time. If you try to change a channel whilst recording, then the recording will immediately stop. So moving on now to the gaming test, beginning with Asphalt 8. Now for you advanced users, DRM info shows Google Widevine level 3 and here is CPU-Z where you can check out the clock speeds and you can see we have the Mali G3 1. And this box is running Android version 9 and does come rooted as standard. And in the Wi-Fi speed test we got download speeds of 62 and upload speeds of 18 megabits per second. So that brings us to our benchmarks beginning with Geekbench single core of 745 and multi core of 2060. And in the Antutu benchmark test, we achieved 70k. So let's see how that compares with the others. So that brings us to the top Android TV box chart of 2019, showing you the latest boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. And as you can see, the new Mi Cool K7 Hybrid has taken position 10 on this chart with a rating of 8.9 out of 10. Now there has been a slight reshuffle of the top 10. From now on, TV boxes which give a real licensed 4K experience will achieve a better overall score. So preference goes to streaming quality and performance, as opposed to having just a high performance box. And this is the only way we're gonna see a challenge to the Nvidia Shield. So let's see what happens. So there you have it guys, that was the new Mi Cool K7 Hybrid. For this amazing TV box, I'm going to jump straight to the conclusion. Bottom line, this is the best hybrid full Android TV box I have ever tested. You have a powerful performance, fast Wi-Fi, gigabit LAN, fast TV tuners with PVR recording, smooth 4K playback, and a very good overall performance. Netflix and Prime are at 540p max. Nevertheless, and I have to say it again, this is the best hybrid full Android TV box I have ever tested and it's about time someone made a hybrid TV box 
with a proper good performance. So good job to Mikul. Now Mikul, if you're listening, give us a hybrid with official Google Android TV OS and official Netflix 4K, and I'm ready to pay good money for that box. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.